What's this? Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Night's Shadows of Undertide. Whoa, a pretty statue. Not a statue, buddy. Go on, take it. Master Ashtara will be pleased with us. I'm not a statue. Oh, I don't like the feel of this. I'm not a statue. Fine, I'll take it. Here, help me with this, will you? Are you sure this is the kind of stuff Ashtara wanted? Ugh. Is there anything the master doesn't want? Come on. Let's Watch get out. out of here. Not without the statue. Great, I'm going to get crushed to death. So, is it you I have to thank for the collapse of our escape shaft? No, the ground. We didn't mean for it to shake. We brought you a statue, Master. I see what you brought me. Why do you think I haven't killed you, you yet? You wouldn't! Oh, Don't great. Get me. I want that passage cleared at once! Ugh. Yes, Master Ashtara. You don't know what I am, do you? So, my precious work of art, we are alone. Ugh. There's more to you than meets the eye, <laughs> isn't there? Yes! Oh, yes. So lifelike. So unlike the stylized form that was popular in ancient leather. Please turn me back to flesh. Ah, uh, here. Let me place this collar around your neck. Can you feel that? Soon you will. It's a slaver's collar. An enterprising merchant makes his money in any way he can, you see. We used to transport slaves like this. A stone across the desert. Oh, great. No need to feed you, nor waste our precious water on your parched throat. Within the hour, you will be able to fill your flesh again. When that happens, my slave, come speak with me in the adjoining room, for I have need of you. What happened to... To Deacon. <laughs> what happened to Deacon? Where, where where's Deacon? <laughs> I have a slave collar around my neck, don't I? Well, at least not in my inventory. Deacon. De Deacon. You are a git. You're gonna blackmail me to do stuff to save Deacon, aren't you? So, it appears you have become my slave a little sooner than I expected. It's a pity, really. Statues are so much easier to transport. I'm no man's slave. That is good, for I am no man. I am Astara, merchant prince of the Asap tribes. We are a little more cold blooded in our dealings. You might say, and you remain my slave all the same. If it's slaves, you're, if slaves are your trade, who are you planning to sell me to? These clothes you wear, they mark you as not being of the desert. You would weaken and die quickly. I would get the best price in the gladiator pits of Amar, where you could live out a short and glorious life before you die. What brought you here to under? Stories of the feeble flying cities of Netherrealm have long been told amongst the Asabi. Some have even been found, and empires have been fashioned from their riches. I would build such an empire, my slave, make all the desert fear me. Three moons ago, I gambled in a tent with a rival merchant friend. Two was drunk on the wine of the cactus. He estimated the shifting sand, he had found the uppermost spires of the lost city of Undertide. What did you do then? I did what emergent princes do. I let him win at gambling, then tracked him here with a plan to kill him and steal his glory for us of my own. Someone, perhaps it was. But it was you who saved me the trouble. I should kill you for your mockery. Yes, you probably should. In time, however, you will come to thank me for placing that collar around your neck. As long as you wear it, I am safe from your vengeance, and you from your own folly. I freed you from the stone prison because
because I have need of you. Both need is a blade that cut both ways. You will find that I am not that harsh of a master. I need your help. Herodis must be stopped. Herodis, is it? Do all your enemies have such pretty names? Come, you must tell me of her. <laughs> she is beautiful. You should look upon her face sometime. Ah, the stone has not numbed your wit, I see. We found the rival son. Some cut by blade and burnt by spell, but others frozen into stone. I don't know, beauty. your beautiful Horota slave, but I am wise enough to never want to know. If I'm your slave, would you command me? There is no room for you to lend a hand within the passageway. Let my poor thralls bash themselves silly against the fallen rock, for you have greater plans. We have we only begun our exploration with the tremors set in. There are riches and tolls. If I leave a space without them, my rivals will claim them instead. That's all? You want me to fetch you trinkets and baubles? Don't be a fool. Why would I bother to summon you from your life of stone for a simple fetch and carry? After all, it's enough for that. I need you to do what they cannot. Some golem maker long ago did find business here, it seems. As they explored, my thralls reported ten golems standing guard. To be clear of every single one of them, and if I succeed in that, and your freedom? Is that what you seek? Well, I'm going to be surprised. Ah, he sells things. Or rather, I can sell things to him. Like all this rubbish that I don't actually need. Like this axe. These arrows. Deacon is stone! Bells? Do you have stone to flesh? I don't think you actually do, do you? He was gonna turn him back in. Deacon. Hey, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You okay, Deacon? Um, yep. Deacon is okay. He can never stay still for so long before, though. So it's completely new experience to Deacon. One time, old boss told Deacon to stand still. He said he can run around so much he drive old boss crazy. Finally, he cast spell on Deacon that made Deacon still. It's not the same thing, though. He don't last so long, and Deacon never worry that bird poops on him or anything. Oh, Deacon, it's so nice to have you back. Tyro, Tyro from I used to paralyze you? How horrible. Oh, it not, it'd not only be horrible when old master used paralyzed Deacon to big teeth. That That's so fun. Deacon got question. Saying that he turns into a statue by just looking at us. What do we do if we meet her again? find something to help us before then. Okay, that sounds like good plan. Deacon likes good plans. Um, does Bass know how long he and Deacon be statues? Deacon not really able to tell. Couldn't have been that long. Well, Deacon just wonders. What snake lady be doing while Doss and Deacon be statues? Good question. Deacon was afraid you say that. We be trapped in old city really far in the sand and snake lady be out there. It's good story. Deacon just wishes Deacon not stars in it. Of course. He said, until Deacon creeps quill ready, he said, there be going to lots to write about now. Your task is not... Yeah, well, I've got things to buy from you. It was I'm just glad that I turned that guy back to normal. You have nothing of any good worth here. The Bastard Sword plus two. 
katana plus two. A trident. Wow. A great sword plus two. Twenty-three thousand. I could buy that. I don't need put a thing of fireballs. Or a ring of scholars. Or that, actually, either. It's never going to make up for the fact that I just turned my buddy back from stone, but, you know. I wasn't exactly going to leave him like that, was I? That would have just been terrible and cruel. Well, Drogon is dead, and lots of, who am I kidding, lots of people are now dead. Awesome. I haven't actually been using any of these potions, have I? Well, what can you do, eh? We can only do what we can do. So, Deacon, how's about you and I... And I go kick some ass. Sounds like a plan. He told us to go kick some ass. Deacon not like ground shaking so much. Once ground open up in Cobalt Cavern, a bunch of Cobalt gets swallowed. Old Master Chuckle for weeks. Old Master was a bit of a goit, wasn't he? Um, but... Yes, Deacon, what is it? Why did grounds move like that? He can not feel ground move except back when Old Master sleep badly after he eats too much fish. He can use to tell Old Master you should not eat so much fish. That only make Master mad though. And he goes eats even more fish. Then he make ground shaking cave all night. But Deacon falls in cracking ground, he's stuck there for a whole week. Do you know why ground shakes? Herodias said an under time will fly again. Snake made him make whole city shakes. The evil plan of Herodias was close to fruition. Our intrepid heroes could only hold their queasy stomachs as the city latched to life around them. How could they stop her? How much time did they have before Herodes was able to raise the city into the sky and all would be lost? A fearless cobalt, faithful companion to Bass, was reminded of Deacon. Um, sorry, Bass. Uh, Deacon. Can I steal from these? Can steal from it. <laughs> Great. Crappy old stuff. This this is apparently actually magical. You want Deacon? Identify it for me. Chainmail plus three. Five three. Same armor class, much lower weight. Plus, it also looks quite a bit cool. Yep, that's good. I don't mind wearing chainmail plus three, not in the least. It's ten pounds lighter. Good enough for me. Did the door close. I didn't close the door, buddy. Your task. You blah blah blah. I'm selling things to you. I wish my freedom, buddy. And for that, I'm gonna have to kill things, aren't I? Ten. Take a look. There's something here. Multitude of insect tracks, usually large ones, scattered around the ground. Insect tracks. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Whoa! Oh God! Sword spiders! Sword spiders! I have bad boulder skate flashbacks happening now! Oh. oh! Sorry. Boulder skate. Oh man. It reminded me too much about that sort of stuff. Well, I think now is probably a good time to uh, call the video here, I believe. 
So when we come back, folks, <laughs> the tiniest of warnings that uh, we were going to have things happen. And we'll come back and we'll explore Undrantide. At least we have a shop. Till then, folks. Until then, I'll catch you later. I'll see you then.